Boom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu and yes, I am the guy that four years ago sold literally everything he owned, went all into Bitcoin with his family and started traveling the world, coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. In today's video, of course, bombing you with really cool Bitcoin charts, taking a look at the next move Bitcoin could be doing at the moment. And of course, talking about the blockchain news that I read this morning during my coffee, we are talking about Japan, talking about the prediction Glassnode did about Bitcoin, talking about a few reasons why Ethereum could explode at the moment, and some really cool other news, guys. And yes, also talking about the Bitcoin family. Bam! First things first guys, let's take a look at Bitcoin and how Bitcoin is moving now on the 4 hour chart. Check this chart. Bam! On this chart you can see that we have this huge pattern. Support still around the 30,000 US dollar and you just saw this wick exactly to 30,000 US dollar again. But we are moving inside this flag finding support on this short term trend line upwards. You can see a higher high and a higher low on this small trend line i think we are moving around this trend line towards the top and then it is a question are we going to break out of at that point or are we going to see one more correction to 30k or will we break out to the downside and will we see that huge correction to 25k 24k to be exactly that is a, that everybody is expecting mostly when everybody expects a pullback or a dip to 24k Bitcoin is doing the opposite, so I'm not betting till I see a confirmation. I need to see a breakout, either a breakout to the downside, because if we break out to the downside, we will come back and test that 30k level again and then fall down. That is the confirmation for me. Or if we break to the upside, we will break this downward coming line to the upside. We come back and test that line to go up again. And that is again the confirmation for me. Those are the moments for me to take a leverage trade in Bitcoin on a four hour chart. Bam! And if you zoom out, then you take a look at the stock to flow model, and you can also see the stock to flow model compared to all the other scarce assets in the world. Gold, silver, diamonds, real estate, all of these assets, we can compare Bitcoin's growth curve of the last 12 years. And if we would keep growing like we did the last 12 years, and we would keep growing the next 10 years in the same growth rate, we would be surpassing the market cap of gold between 21 and 24 and we would even be surpassing the market cap of real estate somewhere around 2028. So yes, this next decade still has a huge potential of growth in Bitcoin because we are snooping bit by bit from all these market caps, from the gold, from the silver, from the diamond, from the real estate, from the bonds, from the stocks, from all of these market caps, Bitcoin is stupid. Bit by bit, literally and figuratively, bit by bit from these market caps to swallow all these market caps and create a huge Bitcoin market cap in the next 10 years. That is what I like in the stock to flow model. That is what I like if you zoom out to see in the charts that Bitcoin is going to be there for at least two more decades, in my opinion. Bam! But if we compare it, guys, to 2017, I need to be honest, now we zoom in again at the charts, if we compare it to 2017, we can still see this drop to 24K. Because in 2017, around the same time, we saw this flag pattern. And at that moment, we broke out downwards out of this flag pattern, all the way, like with 20% from the flag bottom, till 20% lower, I think it was around ooh, 2K or something, before we peaked up again, this V-shaped rebound all the way up to the top of 20K that year. So we could be now in that flag pattern, breaking out to the downside, peaking up again to this new all-time high of 100K somewhere at the end of this year. This is all speculating, and yes, it is all, we don't have a glass ball, we don't know for sure, but it's really nice to analyze the options we have in Bitcoin. Bam! And if it comes to analyzing Bitcoin and the blockchain, then Glassnode is a very good company in this. 
Uh, I use Glassnode as well. Um, I have a referral link to Glassnode. If you want to sign up to Glassnode, use a referral link. And we earn some fees again and those fees will be added to the fund we are creating to the fund we are creating to help poor people all over the world but glasnose prediction is that we just bottomed out now why are they predicting this because of this indicator they show on the charts on this chart bam on this chart you can see the sopr indicator and this sopr indicator is this yellow line on the chart the other gray line this is the price line you can see that this yellow line has peaks and has dips. Peaks are during the upward movements in Bitcoin and the dips are when we go downwards with Bitcoin. You can see that this yellow line is bottoming out. We are almost at the bottom level of this yellow line. So the only thing that can happen now is reversal. That one is the normal level, the base level, and at 1.15, the level we reached in December last year, that was the peak level. So it's a small difference, but this indicator makes all the difference when it comes to turning around the market because we are again at the level one. So we should be turning around again to the level 1.05 or 1.1 or even 1.15, like we saw in December last year. And that is why Glassnode is calling this a bottom they are calling we are not going to go lower than 30k and maybe a wick or something like this but then again we are going to reverse again in the market and we are going to go to see another run all the way up maybe to 40k or maybe even this time to 45k or whatever number there will be on your screen when you're watching the charts this is what Glassnode is predicting and really cool news that I read was about the Japanese brokers now going into a competition with all the crypto exchanges because the biggest volume in Bitcoin of course is done by the Japanese crypto exchanges but now the brokers are trying to win a little bit of terrain in this industry this is what you can see on this chart BAM you can see that the crypto exchanges in total are responsible for a market cap of $2 billion worth of crypto. The brokers, on the other hand, are now responsible for a market cap of $750 million. They are trying to reach that volume of $2 billion that the exchanges already have um, reached, but now the brokers want to win terrain as well. So they are now around $750 million and they want to try to increase their market share as well and believe me they will of course increase the market share but also the exchanges will then increase their market share again because when the brokers officially start to market bitcoin to the normal people that only trust official brokers of course also other people will see this and they will start to trade on the normal exchanges so i think it will be very difficult for the brokers to reach those market caps that the exchanges already reached now in Japan. But let's see how this play out. I think it's very positive because competition means that there is a market. And when there is a market, that means that an asset will exist a little bit more longer because competition is always healthy when it's a fair competition into the market. So that is what we see. And the only problem we have there is now, of course, will it be a fair competition? Because brokers need to do KYC. Many exchanges don't do KYC. So will Japan now come next with the rule as well, like uh, all those crypto exchanges need to do KYC because else we will stop them for supporting clients in Japan. This is how it every time goes again and again. Yes, it starts with the giving the normal brokers access to crypto as well. And then when the normal brokers have access, then these countries start to do all these KYC implementations onto the crypto exchanges. And then a lot of these crypto exchanges can't fulfill those needs and they will stop. And then the brokers will take over. It could also go in this way, of course. We never know, but let's see how it will play out in Japan. Bam! The Bank of England was a little bit negative on the World Economic Forum about crypto. Uh, I know why they were negative, of course, because the Bank of England that doesn't like crypto because, you know, if they can't print a shitload of them without asking anyone, they won't like it because they can never fill their pockets. They can only use assets that they are able to print a shitload of it off so that they can fill their own pockets. And that's why the Bank of England, of course, is not like very happy with Bitcoin yet. And they will not say on the World Economic Forum, oh, we love Bitcoin. Bitcoin. you know they will say ah cryptocurrency of course it could have a future but not like it is like now we need to have a central bank's cryptocurrency because we can regulate that and then we can print again a shitload of the central bank's cryptocurrency and then again we can keep the power to the central banks and the banking system let's see how this plays out but you know um, i'm like 
just whatever they want to do we just do our thing we are the crypto community we are creating a revolution or an evolution whatever you call it let's just continue supporting this revolution of the monetary system into the biggest social economic shift we will ever experience during our lives bam let's see was there any more news yes ethereum of course is now doing its bull run everybody's asking me did he should i buy ethereum you know i've been talking about ethereum now a couple of weeks already in my videos uh, even selling even admitting that i was exchanging some bitcoins to ethereum because ethereum was at 600 and still need to go to an all-time high of 1400 it now broke the all-time high it needs to double the all-time high if it wants to be comparable with bitcoin um in this last move i mean bitcoin doubled from the previous all-time high if ethereum will do that we will go to 2800 US dollar let's say we underperform and we will go to 2k short-term minded yes i think you could make some profits in ethereum at the moment and this is exactly what you see in the charts and on the exchanges because the spot trading volume is pretty big in ethereum so that is very positive a lot of people are buying ethereum at the same time you can also see a lot of outflow from ethereum from the exchanges into hardware wallets or private wallets so that means that people have a lot of trust in ethereum going up because they don't want to huddle the ethereum on the exchange but they want to put it like this maybe the sun because they want to hold it in their hardware wallet because they trust ethereum will go much higher than it is so that's two positive signs why i think ethereum is also going up we are almost at the end of the video guys but i want to end it with the bitcoin family because the bitcoin family is growing tremendously on the discord server and why because we are offering a really cool products we have the bam indicator which is a manual trader but it's an indicator that tells you when to buy and to sell we also now have the b fat which is a automated trader so this is doing trades for you while you sleep uh, you need to buy a little hardware which they call a raspberry pi but then we will give you this bfat for free so you will be automated traded for free yes we will make some income because of the fees that we will earn because of the refolding to the exchanges but this income we will use to fill up a fund that we will use to help poor people all over the world and very soon we will come with another indicator that is a step in between the band indicator and the bfat automated trader and that name of that indicator i can't say it i can't say it keep watching this week's video because i will disclose the name of the video one of these days i think you will really like this indicator because it's a little bit cheaper and it's a little bit more simple to use for starters in this whole trading industry that was everything for today guys if you enjoyed watching today's video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment because i love to respond to your comments always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in life try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what life should be about thanks for watching today and hopefully see you tomorrow again then with a little bit better cam camera images ah I need to walk that way more tomorrow so that the screen is not that dark. Hmm. I keep doubting. Maybe I will switch back to my iPhone, but I think that the iPhone has a little bit more better image in these circumstances. But I like the stability of the DJI. Hmm. Big decision. Comment down below what you would do. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you tomorrow again. Bye.